Welcome to Banzai Keto. We like to focus on quick and easy keto recipes. And if you like that idea, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to see what we're up to next. Today, we're gonna to make a basic quick bread. All the macros and the full recipe will be in the description below and at banzaiketo.com. So let's get started. The ingredients you'll need today are going to be flaxseed, coconut flour, almond flour, psyllium husk powder, apple cider vinegar, salt, heavy whipping cream, baking soda, liquid stevia, eggs, and water. In a large bowl, we're gonna mix two cups of almond flour, a half a cup of flaxseed, two tablespoons of coconut flour, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, three-fourths teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of psyllium husk powder. Our dry ingredients all get mixed into a bowl. We're gonna whisk them together and then set them aside. On to the wet ingredients. We have six eggs, a half a cup of heavy whipping cream, one fourth cup of water, one and a half teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and seven drops of liquid stevia. Now that we've mixed our wet ingredients, we're going to add them to our dry ingredients, blend well, and then pour them into our loaf pan. We have our oven preheated to 350 degrees. Now for the loaf pan, you can either spray it or use parchment paper. I choose the parchment paper because it's an easier cleanup. I have wet parchment paper here. If you wet it, form it to the bowl, and then we're gonna use binder clips to go ahead and secure it to the bowl, and it's okay to cook it with the binder clips. Now we're going to pour our mix into the loaf. Spread it evenly into your loaf pan and then into the oven for 50 to 60 minutes. It's been 50 minutes and we've checked our bread and it's ready to come out of the oven. Now I'm going to show you the ease of the parchment paper. I'm going to remove these clips. They're a little warm. A lot warm. <laughs> We're going to let the bread cool and we'll be back in a little bit and taste test it. Okay, we've let our bread completely cool and I've cut it into 12 slices and now it's time to try it out. 
Yes, I benefit every time she makes a recipe, I get to try it with her. Absolutely. We have a little bit of Kerrygold butter on it, and uh, let's give it a taste. Give it a try. I like it. Mm-hmm. Not like some of the recipes we tried where they were eggy. Right. Just didn't taste like a bread. That's pretty good. Um, if you try this recipe, let us know in the comments below what you think of it. Um, all the macros and the full instructions and everything that's in the recipe will be in the description of this video as well as on bonsaikido.com. I think we need to toast a piece though and try a toast a piece. Absolutely. Let's do that now. All right. I'll be right, we'll be back. right back. So we're back. We toasted a piece because we were just curious to try it. I just have some carry gold on mine. Stacy put a little bit of what is that, almond butter? Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna give it a try toasted too. That's good. I don't know if I like it better toasted or if I just like it better with butter on it. I mean they both have butter for mine. Right. Yeah, it's it's definitely not like a loaf of bread that I'd want to put sandwich stuff on. But sure it's good that like if you were having a little soup or something and you want a roll or a bread, that type of bread. Mm -hmm. That's more what this reminds me of. Hmm, I'll have to try it again. And I think for me, it's actually a fairly thick slice, makes 12 slices. I think I would actually cut it a little bit thinner and make two pieces of toast. This is definitely something that I would uh, have in the morning for breakfast. I'm kind of digging it without the bean toasted too, though. I don't know. It's pretty good either way. I think you should try it if you're into the whole low-carb bread and just are missing bread. I've tried a lot of bread recipes uh, before we do a video. I always like to try things mm -hmm. because if it doesn't taste good to me, I'm not going to do a video of it right. and have other people try something that was disgusting to me. Yeah. Now, I know everybody's taste vary, um, but a lot of them taste very eggy. eggy. Or, not like bread. Ugh, not like bread. And for me, if it doesn't taste close enough to what I'm used to eating, I just don't eat it. Uh, yeah, that's true. This I will definitely eat, and it's super easy to make. That's why they call it the quick, quick bread. Quick bread. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know that I want the almond butter on it, though. I love peanut butter. Like almond peanut, butter. Is that mm -hmm. what almond butter tastes like? Mm -hmm. Never had it. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. And like I said, if you try it, let us know in the description below in the comments. And, uh, We'll put all the ingredients and uh, directions and the macros in the comments as well as on Bonsai Keto. So thanks for checking in. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye.